guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is april 12 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here jp news warning the holy land of persia nuclear strike not looking good it's not looking good i just posted this video not too long ago the sleeping giant are putting out a warning maybe tonight persia could fire over 100 missiles and drones you have france india other countries are telling their citizens to get out leave now get out of persia get out of holy land we have more breaking news coming out guys hey notifications will not be sent out so you have to come back to my channel i got more information the bear is gonna get involved the bear is going to get involved they are going to defend persia all right so we are seeing nation against nation rising once again notification will not be sent out you have to come back to my channel guys um so let's see what's going on here uh we already talked about this this link will be in the comments box but uh, let's see what's going on with this one here let's see what's going on with this one you have jp news warning the holy land of persian nuclear strike this is the reason why the sleeping giant are desperately urging the red dragon china they are urging Please get involved and try to talk to your ally. Try to, you know, try to talk to Persia and tell him to ease down. It seems like Persia might have a couple of nukes. The JP newspaper today is warning the Holy Land about the effect of nuclear should Persia strike Holy Land. The story title, and that's the one, we're going to get to that. Some key insight goes on to explain what takes place in a woo, a person's body when it is exposed to some very powerful NUKE. It also makes clear they expect Persia to strike Holy Land within the next 48 hours. Once again, for those of you that loves to leave comments at the very beginning of the video, uh, after a minute not watching the full video, please watch the full video before leaving comments. All right. This is not no fear mongering. This is not no fake stuff. This is the real deal. These, uh, these biblical wars are happening. All right. Many, many people are being impacted. This is all related to scripture. So please stop with your nonsense oh nothing gonna happen and this and that please just stop stop i want to bring this one uh i want to bring this one up really quick here guys so the real ca causes of the event in the mid e what the sleeping giant found that makes the persia holy land war inevitable persia are preparing the first three nukes all right, let's see what's going on here. We're going to go with this one. All right, we're going to go with this one. This is the one that uh, uh, is going around right now. All right, so I want to see what's going on in this story here. Persia warning is becoming a reality. Persia Capital has declared that it will hit the Holy Land within the next 48 hours. But the sleeping giant are saying... Is going to happen possibly within hours today, Friday, April the 12th. All right. So the Holy Land hackers have already. What? Hold on. What? The Holy Land hackers have already warned to disrupt Persia's cyber infrastructure tonight. So this again, this is uh, this is what the sleeping giant are saying that there's a possibility something might happen tonight within hours. And I just posted that video not too long ago. Okay, so we got breaking news here. Holy Land hackers have already uh, warned to disrupt Persia's cyber infrastructure tonight. Meanwhile, the Holy Land is preparing for all possible scenarios. 
whether in the north or south. According to the Sleeping Giant News, a Persian leader has been presented with several plans for striking the Holy Land, including、uh, a missile event in that region. I'm gonna skip this name, guys. Follow me on this one. Targeting the facility in those territories or deploying medium range cruise missiles. Now, it says here, however, the primary warning from Persia stems from its anticipated nuclear capability. So, nuclear forces are on high alert. Nuclear forces are on high alert. Also, I do believe that there's a possibility we are on DEF CON 2. All right.、Uh, Hopefully, not DEF CON 1, but、uh, yeah, DEF CON 2 is where we are right now.、Um, so it says here this capability could be finalized within months. So the Holy Land allies have pledged protection, and the Holy Land Home Front Command has not altered its guidelines. Still, the nuclear warning persists as a major concern regarding Persia. Now, you have a Holy Land military spokesperson noted on Thursday that the Holy Land is equipped with multiple defense layers against the Persian warning. And although Persia is not expected to impact innocent region sites, the possibility of a nuke is not far off. What happens to the B O D Y after a nuclear event? Well,、um, if you're close to it,、uh, you're g o n n a meet your maker. Alright, so it's just gone. You guys heard the story of Pompeii Volcano? Or、oh, something like that. When exposed to these powerful stuff, once again the body cells damage to their genetic material. D and you know what? This damage can occur either directly through the breaking of D and you know what? Or indirectly through the creation of toxic free radicals that cause oxidative. Or oxidative damage to the D, and you know what? Now, follow me on this one here, guys. I try not to talk too much when it comes to this because of the platform. I got hit many, 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 many times. So I try to be very careful on this one here. So, if the damage is limited to one of the two D and strands, the cell can potentially repair itself. However, if both strands are damaged, the injury is severe. Disrupting cell divisions, leading to the creation of defective cells, or causing the cell to self destruct. Wow. Once again, this powerful exposure can also trigger another process known as apostasis or a program cell, D E A T H. In this process, the cell commits. Oh, man. This is some brutal stuff here, guys. <laughs> But the,、uh, this thing triggers signals that accelerate s DN breakage, leading to the cell's rapid DEATH. Basically, this thing will literally just completely, if you're too close to it, that's it. Adios. All right, this is why you have the most powerful ones.、Uh, this is why you have some preppers. Uh, are prepping and getting bunkers and so many other things because of that. Well, Lewis, what about those that can't get bunkers? Get right with Christ. You don't need to feel death. Jesus defeated death. I don't have a bunker. We all need to be、uh, in prayer and praying for each other and、uh, coming together and. Just believing in Christ and staying in prayer and staying in His words. A bunker is heaven, the kingdom of heaven. But here's the thing 
let's say something hits the fan and let's say we have uh, one of those presidential text alerts uh, and there's an NUKE heading towards our region. We have 30 minutes to get to underground, basement, whatever, and you can't find no bunkers. I tell everyone, if you can't find nothing like bunkers, the best place to go to, I'm going to spell it because of the platform, H-O-S. P I T A L. That is the best. They have deep, deep, deep basement. That's where they keep the, uh, you guys already know, they keep the uh, B O D I E S. You have no other choice. You got to go there if, if, you know, if things start flying towards your way. <laughs> so, and plus, that building, that facility, they have backup generators. They have uh, first aid kits. They have food. They have everything in there. And they have windows, like thick windows. They have walls all over the place. So, yeah, that region will be uh, one of the best places to go to. Go to the basement of it. So, again, that's... Or you, you could dig and enter a septic tank, which a lot of people would not be doing. <laughs> so, I'd rather uh, be in uh, front of the blast than be in a septic tank. All right, so give. All right, so give me a second here, guys. Let's go back to the story here. Actually, it just talks about the. Uh, it talks more about the the event, what will happen to you. So I'm gonna leave that link in my Twitter, but uh, let me take you to this one here. I want to take you to this one and see what's going on here. All right. These are very important information. And again, I'm not trying to spook people here, but uh, we are seeing great events that could lead towards the use of N-U-K-E-S. Now, in the comments box, you might find people say, oh, come on, you know, this and that. Look. Um, guys, scripture tells us that there will be, sun, uh, again, a sun will be blocked. The water will be impacted. A great population will be phew, the sick seal, the earthquake, and so many other things. In the end time, scripture tells us there's going to be things to come. All right. And for those that keep saying nothing's going to happen, they're not reading scriptures right. Because scripture tells us things will happen. So, again, please put on the whole armor. Have no fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear. But these things will come. And our job as watchmen, our job as Christians, to inform many things that is happening in the world that is related to Bible prophecy. All these are signs of Jesus' return. All right? So we don't live in that perfect world for righteous dwell. We don't live there yet. We live in a fallen world. All right? In this fallen world... As we move forward, there's going to be some stuff to come. Light on the real causes of the vertical escalation in the Mid-E is shed by the information that states that Persia has enough, you know what, to produce at least three NUKE. As can be seen, the window of time for the Holy Land is closing either now or within the next few months. Holy Land will have to with or without the sleeping giant strike Persia and strike its nuclear facility. This probably explain, also explains why Holy Land is now openly challenging Persia militarily. I think they wanted uh, to strike that consulate because they want to go to biblical war with Persia because they know Persia is six months away from building nukes. And so they want to go to biblical war with Persia. The strike on the Persian embassy is a, yes, it is a violation, guys. Now, again, I'm not, I'm not backstabbing Holy Land, but any strike on any land's embassy is a violation. It is. And I did mention in my video that uh, the Holy Land uh, those in the spotlight are too, uh, what's the word, too defiant. 
All right. So what he did there was completely wrong. All right. It's like it's like they striking an area with this innocent young ones. All right. So you don't do that. You don't do that. I mean, let's say our young ones is going to whatever, like Bush Garden or Six Flags, right? That's a lot of young ones. You don't fire stuff towards that region. You don't. You don't do that. All right, so the strike on the Persian embassy is a violation of the rules of international law. Surprised? Even the Sleeping Giant, who, according to Sleeping Giant Media, were outraged by the event. The issue was also raised by the Sleeping Giant foreign minister, Lloyd, to his Holy Land counterpart. Now, again, the Holy Land has been going a little too out there. They just completely, again, they just... You know, I told my wife this. And again, I'm not backstabbing the Holy Land. Those in the spotlights, I don't trust. Okay? Because again, Ben said... He don't need Jesus Christ. He don't need him. He's a J-E-W-S. And I'm like, nope. Uh-uh, Ben. No, 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 no. Again, here's the thing. Those in the spotlight are becoming, I'm going to spell the name, H-A-M-A-S. They talk a lot about them, but they are becoming just like them. Again, those in the spotlight. Now, I'm not going after the Holy Land. I'm not going after the Holy Land citizens. Just those in the spotlight. I got to keep repeating that because, again, it just... Uh, so many people misunderstand me. So, you have WP. What's WP? Washington Post? WP said that Persia already has enough. So, we already know this. So, once again, a heavily guarded photo plant produce significant amounts of enriched uh only slightly below weapons grade levels sleeping giant yeah the washington post wrote so i'm just gonna skip a lot of this stuff here so they basically has uh, have enough to make three three nukes all they said is well persia about a couple of months ago they said they only need one nuke just one Keep your eyes open. All right. Now, a lot of people believe the mystery of Babylon is the sleeping giant. Once again, the sleeping giant is not a city. The sleeping giant is a country. Many people believe that uh, mystery of Babylon could be and why. No. Other people believe the mystery of Babylon could be the Roman Catholic Church. No. There's a possibility, and I believe that the mystery of Babylon is that great city. I'm going to spell the name J-E-R-U-S. You guys know the rest. Um, keep an eye on that one. Persia said, about a year ago, that uh, one of the one of the regions that could get hit by a nuke is that great city, that city that prophets in the Old Testament have seen. Disciples, even our Lord and Savior, walked in that great city. So keep your eyes on that city there. The mystery again. I believe the mystery mystery of Babylon could be that great city. So, again, keep your eyes on that one there, guys. And remember, the book of Revelation does speak about Babylon, Babylon, the great has fallen. And there's many ships just seeing this event. Guys, you know how many ships are out there in the Mediterranean? Do you know how many ships are out there in Cyprus? You know how many ships are out there in the Red Sea? You know how many ships are out there in the Black Sea? Reports came out that we basically have any ships here in the Sleeping Giants. Alright, so I'm going to leave this link, guys. 
Uh, again, it just talks about the building of uh, these uh, nukes and how, you know, all the uranium, you know, all that stuff. So Persia are preparing the first three nuclear. So just want to keep it updated that there's a possibility Persia has at, at least one. So once again, guys, they are sounding the alarm. Uh, it seems like uh, possibly maybe tonight, the Sleeping Giant saying maybe tonight could be the day within hours. And um, yeah, my next video, by the way, notifications will not be sent out. You have to come back to my channel, guys. Uh, my next video is going to be the bear. The bear said they're going to get involved. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.